Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm Boris Dimba and today I'm going to show you how you can add more details on your assembly drawings. If you take a look on the screen here, we have our simple photo frame in place and we want to generate some few drawings, I mean assembly drawings from this and inside that drawing we, are, we want to add more value and we want to add, detail it more. Now, I'll come to view or press control and hold I'll come to navigate and uh, rotate this, press a rotation point, place a rotation point, and we want to turn it on this uh, on this section now. I want to create uh, I want to create assembly drawing from this particular drawing. So first of all, we'll go back to our to our drawing to, to our drawing report and come to document manager and delete that because you don't we don't want anything to conflict with what we're trying to do just right click and we'll delete that we'll go we'll go ahead and close now we want to generate another drawing under the assembly drawing so we'll select this drawing or this component or this rafter then right click and come to create drawings and pick assembly drawing so if you take a look on the bottom end here, you will be able to see creating drawings finished. To be specific, one drawing created successfully. We'll go ahead and follow it on the document manager and double click on this. Then minimize this list. So if you take a look on the screen here, you can see we have our drawing in place. And we have, we have the far end, the view from this end, you can see on that end, the view from this end, you can see at the end but we don't have the details for the haunch. We don't have the full details for the end plate here, and we have don't have full details for the end plate on this end and the haunch on this far end. How do you broken how do you break down or add more details on these assembly drawings? On this assembly drawing on the same same sheet. So what you're going to do, we are going to uh, select, we are going to select on this on this particular end, on this particular haunch then right click then come to create a single part view click on that then uh, if you zoom out you'll find it already in this uh, already placed here just drag it and place it inside here so once you place it here and this is how it it, it looks it looks double click on it double click on it or just uh, let me double click on it to add more details Perfect. I'll zoom out and come to navigate. I want to add more value to this. Double click on that. And I'll come to view and a view. Attributes no. I'll come to detail view no. I'll close that. Double click once again. I'll come to view and attributes and uh, i'll come to shortening i'll just leave it like that let it be shortened like that so the details for this haunch are here so we've added the, the detail for this for this haunch now we want to add the detail for this far end just click on it right click left click on it and right click and come to create part views select on that and if you come at the bottom end here you'll be able to see this has been created and it's here so this is this is all about this and it's it is the f3 is here it's here and we've uh, actually left out the f2 so what you're going to do we are going to select on f2 right click and come to add more add the single part view click on that and you will be able to find another one here you want to find another one here so we're adding more we are mixing up we're adding more uh, we are more adding more single parts into assembly drawing so that you have a, a clear view of all this now that one has been added we have the hounds and the and the bay and the end plates double click on that detail view we just leave at that now we'll come to the end plate here if we come to end plate here, right click on it, I mean left click on it, right click and come to create single view, click, click on it, then 
uh, this will be added here. So if we, if, we, if we select on that and drag aside, we, we already have the, detail, the, the details for the plate. So we don't need this. You can get rid of that because you don't want our drawing area to be really congested. So we'll try to drag the ice this down to create more space. Or we, we can make our we can make our layout bigger. Just click on that and uh, we'll come to specified, specified size, and we can make this bigger, slightly bigger. Or we can go to A1 and click on that, click OK and give an OK and close this. So this will be slightly bigger. So we can drag this, we can always drag that and place it somewhere there. So we have that detail added. So we need an, uh, another one from this end, which we can select, we see left click on that, right click and come to create single part and that will be created automatically. So what you do, it will be very simple, you select on this, drag it, drag it and place it somewhere here. Though our, our our drawing tend to be smaller, our layout tend to be smaller. We can we can add that, modify that, apply, and give it an OK. So it's somehow bigger now. We can place everything we want every, everywhere we want. Now, if I come here and drag that aside, we'll be able to now get rid of this because we have the detail here. Or we can just right click here, right click, and come to add add as associated notes or add as associative associative notes so click on that and pick on that and pick that section double click on it then uh, we can come back here and add more value to this we'll come back and select on that maybe we want that to to want that to look like that pick on that then uh, click modify it will look like something like this. Perfect. Close that. And maybe you, you don't want you don't want how these bolts are uh, represented. You can just double click on it and come to symbol two here and click modify. You have that in place. Perfect. So you can drag that inside. Just select the text and drag inside, or you can just leave it, it as it is. Now, 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 the next thing we are going to handle, we can come here. I think it's, it's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Or we can just select on the beam, right click and come to create single part. And if you click on that, you'll be able to see, you can submit this to, to, uh, to, to the workshop on how this beam will be cut. In that direction, they'll take note of that. It will be cut like that, cutting like, like that. And all the information will, will find itself in the workshop in with the right detail. So the full length of the beam is six meters. So it has been shortened to fit inside the tie, inside our drawing area. Now let me just close that. So that's how you can add more details in newer assembly drawings. And another thing is maybe you don't need this type of dimensioning and this cumulative dimension type somehow some people that don't know how to read it so just always double click on cumulative dimensioning and switch back to conventional one then click modify so that's how you can handle that whatever you have cumulative dimensions some people don't know how to interpret that and it leads to con total confusion when it comes to cutting these members and you know these are very expensive. You cut it, but if you make a mistake in cutting one in, in, in a wrong way, you, you are in trouble. And you don't need you don't need to be in that situation. Just double click on this, then uh, pick cumulative uh, conventional type of dimensioning, then click modify, apply, and give it an OK, and we have that dimension in that spot. The same thing you can, can apply here. Just double click on this type of balls and give it a different representation representation and that's how it would look and that's it if you feel like adding more dimension you can and i think this is enough and
that is the way you can add more details on your assembly drawings now, now let me double click on that and change that to symbol to apply uh, modify apply and give it an okay right there so this is how it looks so thanks and bye bye don't forget to subscribe to this channel Lamoris Dimba and also don't forget to enroll for a course in Udemy just type just go to Udemy and type Morris Dimba you'll bump into some some courses if you want a very intensive training technical structure you can find you can always find them there now I'll scroll down and let's meet them then on the next uh, tutorial bye bye